I know that she'll put her own stamp on it, and it will be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for everything that you have gone through, and for the getting a new place, and thank you for everything that you did yeah. for this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a whole new world opening up. There's a new world. Okay, I think she's ready now. The one, the only, Janet Kuypers. Hello, that's just the groovy little flash of Vitar flash on the side of this camera. That's just so cool. Hi there. I I've got some poems for you. And I have no idea where, oh, I guess my husband is looking for a spot to park the car because we want a charging station. <laughs> but this one is a short piece called Bolt of Lightning. You creep upon me with the sound of silence. You speed away as fast as a bolt of lightning. You now intoxicate me with all your essence. Let me hold your strength and never let go. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was about my new car. Right. You creep up on me so quietly, it's the quietest car ever, and it just speeds off like nothing. You know that craziness of the car. Know, it's my craziness of the car. That's what I love this yeah. thing about my car. Why, when I'm doing a poem a day, you look oh. for a thing. <laughs> um, this one. It was written during National Anxiety and Depression Awareness Week. Okay. So this is going to be my sad one in the middle. So I'm, I'm bracing you for it. Thanks. Hello. Those two, you got it. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I'm asking you to brace yourself because I said this piece was written during National Anxiety and Depression Awareness Week. So it's called Overtake Me. I can tell no one. No one understands what I go through. No one has lived the life I've led. Yes, there were good times, but the traumas, oh, sometimes the traumas overtake me, and I can tell no one. And yes, the few times I have gone to a therapist, I have cried, cried when I thought it was finally over, the things that have tortured me. But, but if I'm over them, why do I struggle still? And why do I still feel so alone, even in a crowded room? No one wants to hear about the person's suffering. They think that life can't be that bad. And they're convinced that I'm choosing to ignore all the good things in life. But when demons haunt you, it's hard to look chipper and think that things are okay. It, it's hard to smile when you walk in the sun and you think that this could be the day a car careens into you to put you into a hospital again where you try to piece your life back together. But since all this all turned my life, since all this started, my life has never been together. And this I can tell no one. Even after seeing a doctor who, who suggested I take antidepressant medication, I thought of the vegetables I've seen who live on those drugs and thought, yeah. no, right. right. <laughs> I'd rather feel something, even if it's depression, versus uh, feeling a mutual nothing, a muted nothing instead. So, these are the choices I make. And these are the battles I take. And all this, I can tell no one. Yes, these walls feel like they're closing in around me. But oddly enough, these walls are the closest thing to me. And since I've got no one, I'm not sure I want to let them go. It was written for anxiety That's why it was written. So um, well. this one is different from that. <laughs> and it is called Out of Wedding Dresses. <laughs> when they said there was a shortage of wedding dresses. The women wondered if they'd have to climb the stone wall exterior to get through the window into the fabric stores to find just the right fabric to make just the right dress for just the right day. A 
Of course, these women don't know how to sew, but don't confuse them with the little details like that, because desperate times call for desperate measures. When women have been spoon-fed this preposterous notion of a fairy tale day, where they're told that this is their day to be a princess, where it's all about the bride, to a so a shortage of wedding dresses would really throw a monkey wrench into their grand scheme. Come on, ladies, look for any wedding dress. Your big day is coming, and no one is going to stop you from getting everything you think you deserve. Right.